everyone, I'm Yamesh. Welcome back to Pokemon Ash Grey. In the last video, I faced a Tentacruel and it completely trounced my Pokemon team. I mean, I did like that much, da that much damage on its HP bar. Like, it was still in green. It was still a healthy Tentacruel. It destroyed me. However, in the anime, I'm pretty sure Ash didn't fight it, so maybe I'm not supposed to fight it. I'm supposed to... Uh, run away but you know what first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to advertise um, the restaurant to all the customers so this restaurant here I'm gonna advertise the other restaurant Moe's restaurant much better than this place because this lady here is an asshole it's like get buy food or get out the owner Brutella is terribly cruel hmm another restaurant I'll have to try it next time I'm going to Moe's there you go you're losing all your customers screw you Brutella yeah more friendly and cozy it's Suck it, Brutella. How do you feel now? I own this restaurant. Buy food or get lost. Yeah, you're not going to have any customers after this, Brutella. Okay, so do I go back inside? I'll trigger the event with attention. Actually, no, 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 because it, it fights me straight away. There's nothing I can do. I have to fight this guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. I work for Nestina's construction project. We're building... Oh, yeah, I've already uh, read that. I think the tentacle doesn't give me time to run away. It just It's just going to attack me instantly, so... Oh, Jesus Christ, this is going to suck for me. Um, my team is a little higher level than the last video. I think I gave them an additional level or two on some of the Pokemon. Maybe that'll um, help things out. The most important thing I can do here, in reality, is to hit a Leech Seed off. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game right now. I'm going to save state the game. So... If I get if, if he makes my Bulbasaur faint without me hitting a Leech Seed, I've pretty much lost this fight. So it's going to use Sludge Bomb. Is that going to make my Bulbasaur faint, I wonder? Yes, it is. So I'm going to have to reload the game and just hope he doesn't hit just Sludge Bomb now. Hydro Cannon, there we go. Yes! Oh, baby, I got this in the bag. Oh, the Leech Seed hit. Oh, baby, yeah, this, is, this isn't going to be too hard now. If I can hit a Sleep Powder, even better. Because if I can put this Tentacle to sleep with a Leech Seed... What the hell just happened? What? You gotta be kidding me! No! Actually, I don't even think I can put it to sleep. I'm gonna have to use Razor Leaf because this thing... I'll try, I'll try. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't make my bubble so faint with Hydro Pump. Oh, fuck. Free... Guys, this, this tentacle, I don't know what just happened, but when I used the Leech Seed, it just took a chunk of the HP off my Bulbasaur. I'm just gonna have to preg and hit some quick attacks here. Oh, look, what? She's gonna hit my, P my Pidgeotto. Oh, it sucked up the liquid ooze. What the hell? That's ridiculous. Okay, I could just pray and hit a little quick attack there. Because if I tried to use sand attack, the tentacle would have made my Pidgeotto faint. This Pokemon is by far the most overpowered thing I've ever fought against in my life. How the hell are you supposed to beat this tentacle? It's ridiculous. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Ah, oh, my phone's ringing. Screw you, phone. I'm in the middle of an important battle. Uh, I, I think Hydro Cannon has a uh, recharge time. So I can send out Pikachu and hit like a Thunderbolt. And that should do some decent damage. He's going to take some damage from the Leech Seed though. But hey, hey, I'm doing much better than last time. I've actually got this tentacle down to about half HP. Which is much better than the previous fight. So let's try and hit a Thunderbolt. Must recharge. And then we'll swap straight out into like Squirtle or something. Hey, this could work. I have a good feeling about this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I did it. I, I beat the Tentacruel. Oh, oh, yes. Victorious. Victorious. Yes, baby. The tentacle seems to be issuing a warning. If the construction project doesn't stop, it will return to take its revenge. The tentacle faded into the sea. Oh, baby. I'm throwing my phone across the room. There we go. Screw you, phone. Um, oops a daisy. Let's talk to this person now. Now that we know our construction is destroying the tentacle's environment, we can't continue the project. Now my job is to ferry guests across the ocean. Would you like to come? Uh, sure thing. All right, all aboard. It gets me out of this place. I just need to get freaking back on the main continent, really. Um, oh, here we are. Hello, lady. Oh, is this a Pokemon fight? She just disappeared. Freaking ninja, guys. She's a freaking ninja. Beware, not of an old beauty like me, but a beautiful young woman, or you'll meet a cruel fate. Hey, maybe that was Sabrina. Jesus, is Sabrina before Erica in this? 
Welcome to celebrate the Summer End Festival. We will now display the Shrine of the Maiden's Greatest Treasure. The painting hangs on the building just to my left. Behold it with reverence. Oh, okay. Is this it? Picture of a woman. It looks like the mysterious woman from the beach. Interesting. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is about Sabrina, isn't it? Who are you? Why, hello there. I'm the bona fide, genuine, one-of-a-kind scarf salesman of Route 7. Nothing accentuates a Pokemon's beauty better than a scarf. So which one can I get for you today? Um... Screw you, dude. I don't want any of your scarves. The path to Celadon City isn't quite done yet. Maybe try visiting Saffron for a while. Oh, baby, it is Sabrina. Okay, I'm, I'm down for this. Oh. Oh, no, I don't want to give away my Butterfree. See all those Butterfree by the ocean? It's the Butterfree's mating season. If you have a Butterfree, you should release it to find a mate. Okay. Goodbye, Butterfree. I know you're dead already, but I'm going to miss you, Butterfree. It's Butterfree's mating dance. Oh, baby, they're having sex. Oh, doggy style. That is what I totally be. Burfree has been totally rejected. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's amazing. I need to give Burfree a scarf. It's the only way. Yes, man, I will buy. I will buy a scarf if it gets rid of my Burfree. I have to stick to the anime. I'll get him a. Uh, I don't know what color scarf. I'll go for a red scarf. A uh, thousand bucks. Jesus Christ. You know what, you, you you say a bad deal, but you know what? If it gets my Butterfree to mate, I am I am down with that. So where is it? Where's that red scarf? There it is. Oh no, I need to um I need to give it to the Butterfree, not use it. Okay. Now it should look beautiful. It should look classy as hell. Alright, Butterfree, now that you got a scarf, you can go have sex. Oh, Frickin' that's not a Butterfree, that's a frickin' Bulbasaur. Man, oh man, this is why you don't mash the A button, guys. There we go, let's see if I can successfully mate this time. It's a weird mating dance, no wonder you got rejected. Jesus Christ, Butterfree, you suck! You must be the most ugly Butterfree I have ever seen. Um, you know what? Screw you, Butterfree, we'll do this another time. I can still go into Saffron City, no problem. Oh, hello, little girl. Hee <laughs> Uh, I'm, this is a bit odd, isn't it? Hey, are you okay there, little girl? Jesus Christ. Who are these? It's not Jesse and James again, is it? Congratulations, winner! You just so happen to be the one millionth visitor to Saffron City. Please follow us to the grand prize meeting. Well, that's really convenient, isn't it? What are you two young ladies gonna do with me, I wonder? Is this the gym? I think this is, I think this is where I get, like, taken hostage. I get turned into a doll. Oh, it's Sylph Corporation! Damn it, Team Rocket. I need to heal my team. The only trip you've won is a trip through the warp tile. No! Jesus Christ, what is this? The TV switched on. Team Rockets on the television. There are no doors or windows in this room. There's no way to escape. We've got you now. <laughs> so it's you. Oh, so it's you again. Who are you? <laughs> Come this way, Ash. Oh, thank you, little girl. Hey, she's a nice girl, actually. They said she was dangerous. You know what? I quite like her. Even though she's going to try and turn me into a doll or something. Freaking Sabrina in her crazy psychotic ways. Those psychic people. I need a bug poke. Oh, wait. Butterfree is a bug. I just don't have any bug type moves on him. That's a shame. All right. We healed up the team now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to swap out to, um, we'll say Pidgeotto for a little bit. I like Pidgeotto. He's a pretty cool Pokemon. Butterfree's too ugly to mate right now. Leave in the comment section below how I can get Butterfree to mate. Maybe I got the wrong colored scarf or something. Ash does give Butterfree away in the anime, uh, in the mating season, so I do need to do the same thing. It's just figuring out how to do it, but I don't want to spend too long figuring that out. You just have to be a bit maker bre maker bre Is this Mr. Psychic's house? Because I would love to get the, the move Psychic right now. Hello. Welcome, my extrasensory perception. Uh, I'll give you something wonderful. Sure thing. I hold it when my hands a wonderful TM. If you can correctly predict three times in a row which hand I hold it in, it is yours. Begin. Left. Oh, right. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, it was left again. All right, I want Psychic real bad, so I'm going to keep doing this. I hope it doesn't keep changing. All right, here we go. Left, and then left and right. I, I could not imagine it being... What? You're a cheater. I picked right last time. Oh, man, this is literally just a, a bowl of luck. Okay, it's always left first. So, right. Oh, 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 right. 
I was going to pick left, but last second in my mind, I decided, you know what? I'm going to change it to right. I'm silly. I'm a silly plonker I am. I'm so upset with myself. Okay. So left, then right, then left. You know what? Screw your psychic. I'll get it later. You know, I hate you, old man. You're not psychic. This is just a game of 50-50. Freaking, if I get lucky three times, I get the move. That's stupid, okay? So we don't want to go in South Corporation just yet. What we'll do is we'll go a bit north to the sea. Let's go in this house here and see what people we have finding in here. Saturations or sal salutations, visitor. I am Smart Sid. I am a whiz kid. I can enhance your Pokemon's intellectual capacity as well for a small payment of one green shard. I don't have a green shard, good sir. I don't care about you making my Pokemon smart. What are you going to do? Play a game of chess with them? Like, that's going to help. What's this place? Someone's made so many innovative products, they created the video telephone system. Oh, that's actually brilliant. Silv Corporation for the win. To the future of businesses and technology. Even though it's run by like, Team Rocket and they're evil motherfuckers. Oh, there's nobody in this house. So, let's go up the stairs. Hello? Jesus Christ, the house is empty. Why would you leave the house, the door open to your house and not be there? You're gonna get robbed. Silly, silly. What's, what's up this way? Oh, I need, like, rock climb to go up there. I don't think the, uh... Oh! Oh, the Hitmon Chan and the Hitmon Lee gym. Oh, uh, hello? You've come to Saffron City and you don't even know Sabrina's gym? If you're trying to enter the Pokemon League, this is one gym I suggest you stay away from. Oh, this is Sabrina's gym. I thought this was, um... Where the Hitmon Lees and Hitmon Chans were. I guess that's not in this game. That's a shame. I really wanted to get one. Oh, wait. Ash doesn't use one anyway, does he? Uh, oh, there's a Pokemon map there. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to talk to random strangers. I'm just going to go to the Pokemon Mart and get some good items. Might even be a good idea for me to train the team up a little bit, because I think there might be a little low level in terms of Sabrina. She has um, Alakazam, and it's going to crush me. Or at least Kadabra. Uh, so I need to get some Super Potions. I don't have any of those yet. I'll get 10 Super Potions. That should be enough. I'll get myself. I don't need Pokeballs. Um, I got enough for Pals too. You know, I'll just get some more Super Potions. Why not? Let's get 15. 15 is a good number. Is there revives here? Ah, oh, man. The day I can buy revives is the day I'll be a happy guy. Because revives is such a brilliant item. It's going to be so useful later on. Okay, which way does this way lead? You must return to Saffron City. <laughs> Why is it a strange voice? Maybe I am I, Maybe I am psychic. I do have ESP because that is just odd. Okay, looks like we have to go to uh, Sabrina's gym right here. Mating my Butterfree is quite a, a, a good thing to do, but you know what? I'll do that next video when I actually figure out how to. Let me just save the game right here, because this is a good point to save it. Okay, there we go. What's a kid like you doing here? You want to challenge the great Sabrina? I have trained in this facility to hone my telekinetic powers. You can't control a psychic Pokemon. You still wish to challenge her? Then battle me first. Sure thing, dude. I'll, I'll fight you. You and your pink hair. What's that? Is this like a little magic trick? Pokeballs on a string, eh? Level 25? Oh man, my Pokemon team really is low level compared to everyone else. This is going to be tough. And wow, that didn't do much damage at all. I might have to start using Gust. My Pikachu is going to be literally the only Pokemon that's going to take out this guy. Really. Maybe Charmander. Charmander is pretty strong. Um, Actually, my Pidgeot is holding its own here and it's four levels lower. I might. With a critical hit, I'll take this thing out and get some good experience. Oh, it's used the Sable. Oh, I've got this in the bag now, because Confusion doesn't do 25 damage. It might do about two-thirds of that. So, with one more Quick Attack, unless he crits, Pidgeotto should be hitting level 22. Pretty happy with that. There we go. Good good job, uh, Pidgeotto. You need a Hypno, sir. He's much stronger than Drowsy. Hypno's awesome. All right, we're going to swap Pidgeotto out now. Um, Slowpoke. Yeah, we'll swap into uh, Pikachu here. Freaking hell, man. My, P my Pikachu is level 30, and then the rest of my team are like low level 20s. <laughs> it's not even fair. So if you guys, um, have, well, if you guys don't know, I asked in the last video about uh, whether I should evolve my Pokemon or not. The general consensus is the majority of you don't want me to evolve the Pokemon and to stick to the TV, se TV series as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to the TV series, keep the Squirtle and the Bulbasaur, keep the Pikachu at, at a Pikachu evolution, and only evolve the Char Charmander to a Charizard. Charizard doesn't, uh, well, Charmillion doesn't pop in the anime until Ash um, fights the Exeggutors, and that is, I believe, just around about Gym 6, so that's not for a little while yet. I would get freaking poisoned somehow. 
he must have used smog or something. I wasn't really concentrating. So yeah, Charmander isn't going to be evolving for quite some time. But the good thing about um, training him up at a low level is he'll learn a lot of the moves quicker than he would if I evolved him. The only problem is his um, general overall stats aren't going to be as great because you get less stats when you um, evolve a Pokemon in their first stage. So I may keep Charmander to a reasonable level, but I don't think I'm going to train him too high because I want him to get a decent amount of stat boost from when he turns into Charmeleon and then turns into Charizard too. So I'm going to keep uh, these Pokemon to a reasonable level and um, use Light Screen. That's not going to change much. He's going to still faint from that. So yeah, that's the general consensus that I've been given, so I'm going to stick to that and only evolve the Pokemon that evolve in the anime. So that is the plan. Get crushed, kid. You may challenge Sabrina. Thank you. Okay, in the next video, we'll go challenge Sabrina. I might do a little bit of off-screen grinding here because the only Pokemon on my team that can actually fight her really is Pikachu. So I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye, everyone.